Hello there. Welcome back to Star Wars because I love Star Wars and that's why I'm making this video. It won't change the fact that the Perker trilogy was a cinematic revolution in the best way possible. I will probably make another video about this later. Whatever. Star Wars is one of the most successful franchises to date. People celebrated like crazy even after 40 years of its first movie, and Star Wars Day is a thing. But what really makes me sad sometimes is how much hate the prequels get. Some people think this is better than this. And yes, you can have different opinions. Everyone can have different opinions. And this video is just one opinion out of 7 billion opinions out there in the world. So here's the topic I'm going to discuss today. What if I told you the prequels don't suck? And I'm also going to try to convince you how I think prequels make the original trilogy much better. So watch till the end of the video to hear me out. The Phantom Menace was the first movie to ever use motion capture. Boom. We wouldn't have had this, or this, or this without Jar Jar. But does this only make this movie good? No, The Phantom Menace shows us how Ben and Vader first met, where their journey first began, how Vader was mere a slave boy, and how the slave boy's journey began, how he became a Jedi, but most importantly, how he met Padme. But other than that, uh, we got Jar Jar in this movie? The joke was hilarious and you all liked it. <laughs> Okay, I really don't like this movie. I'm sorry, but this movie is just too boring for me. But that doesn't mean this movie was unnecessary. This movie was definitely necessary to the series. If the story jumped from The Phantom Menace to Revenge of the Sith, we wouldn't be able to relate to the characters. We wouldn't get why Anakin fighting Obi-Wan is so heartbreaking. Why it hurts to see Anakin turning to the dark side. This movie shows more Obi-Wan and Anakin moments how Obi-Wan and Anakin are more than just a master and a padawan. They are friends, and they are like family. Don't say that, master. You're the closest thing I have to a father. And although it did a bad job because of George Lucas trying to do everything by himself, they showed us Anakin and Padme's love towards each other. Also, this movie is the beginning of the Clone Wars that was mentioned a long time ago, back in A New Hope. You fought in the Clone Wars? Now oh, here is the diamond of the prequels. I honestly don't get why people don't like this movie. I've already made an entire video about this, check that out if you want to. But okay, I'll admit it. Prequels in general have very cringy dialogues and all that. And this movie's got them too. But when I watched this movie, I was just surprised at how good this movie actually was. Coruscant CGI is amazing even today, although this was released at like what 2005 according to google and i doubt google is ever wrong except for the time they called ray skywalker and the duel scenes are epic yoda versus sidious is cool and the duel on mustafar is on the next level look at this just this makes me speechless and the story is really amazing too it tells us the end of the Clone Wars, how Anakin turned to Darth Vader, and how the Empire hunted and destroyed the Jedi Knights. Also shows us why Luke and Leia had to be separated. Also I really think the actors should be very appreciated. Some people hate Hayden's return in the Kenobi series and I mean come on he played Anakin perfectly in Revenge of the Sith. And some people bullied him at best for playing Jar Jar a long time ago and that you know fans are too toxic you know they blame the actors for the characters not being likable and that just seems very wrong to me and like by any chance if you're one of them you really should stop and get a life and i personally think the prequels were needed in star wars i think it makes the original trilogy much better than it already was hear me out Ben vs Vader's fight is way more emotional because now we know they were Obi-Wan and Anakin. They were once friends and they were once brothers. 
I already said the same thing in my Revenge of the Sid video and I'm gonna say it again because why not. The prequels told us more about the tragedy of Darth Vader. Now we know he cares because he once wanted to save. He hates because he once loved. Also the prequel trilogy made Anakin's redemption so much more powerful. Vader thought he killed Padme. He thought he killed his children when he killed his wife. But Luke was alive. His son. Padme's son was alive. The moment he learned about Luke, the vanished love in his heart has come back to him because he still loves Padme. Luke is special to him because he still loves Padme. Now hear me out. Anakin's journey began with Padme. He went to the dark side for Padme. And now he was redeemed because of Padme. Because of her son. Because of his love for his family. Again, it's like poetry, so if they rhyme. And the best part of the prequels is the fact that George wanted to make it, because he had a passion to do it. He wanted to show the hidden story behind the trilogy we all loved. It wasn't done to suck money from us like sequels. Also, before I end the video, watch the Clone Wars if you haven't already. Most of the prequel fans are from the Clone Wars show, so it's a real shame if you didn't already. With that being said, thank you for watching. And feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And see you later. May the force be with you. Always.